morning, Columbus. Resale Rabbit here for part five. We are going garage sailing this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. We got a late start. Let's do this. This is what I put up with in these four star hotels. 12% uploaded. 2,548 minutes remaining. You won't believe it. He's actually going for something that doesn't cost extra money. <laughs> Here's how the resale rabbit and rake and profit leave their mark. A thrift store price tag on the floor. All right, as promised, here's what I'm working with in the daylight. I've got my luggage in here. Some of the luggage in the front seat, actually. We've got all of this crap in here. The back, it is like a dump truck. This is just a couple of days of thrifting. Holy crap, I am getting full. Garage sale, we got Sean Rake in here. <laughs> See what we can find. So we in the business call a bust. And I've never seen anyone get out of their car faster than Mike Rake in here. I'm always jumping out quick, man. Fast. I'm like a rabbit. So I'm at this garage sale. Didn't really find much. I found a Guitar Hero guitar with the dongle for 10 bucks. But I saw a stack of GameCube games hidden behind their tables. And I asked them if they were for sale. And she said, no, they're not for sale. I said, well, I'll give you 60 bucks for all of them, sight unseen. She says, no, I can't do it. I saw Smash Brothers on the top. It took a little convincing, but I was able to convince her to sell me this for $20. This is complete manual and everything, excellent condition. If I sell, sold it right now, I would get $60 after fees for it. I'm tempted to wait till Christmas. I have a feeling complete like this. I could get in the range of 90 to 100. We'll see. On a decent sized garage sale we're walking up to. Uh, let's see what they got. We got a whole bunch of stuff Two, here. Four. Some board games, some video games. So we'll say 10 on that. 40, Don't 50, you have a price tag of 5 80. on it? Oh, for all of it? Yeah. Okay. I was making it cheaper. I thought you meant if, just for the If game. you don't want me to do it cheaper, I don't do it cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> so Alright, so we're at 80. 80 and then 80 to 81. Uh, could you go any less on that? Is I'm buying so much? Yeah. Um, he only do 30 on that though, so I can only do 30 on that. Okay. So, do like, <laughs> and so I made like these seats three dollars and these seats two dollars. Give the calculator for you. So that's ten. That's forty. And then I could probably do like fifteen and fifteen. Seventy. 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 I'd really like to be at fifty. Fifty. That's where you like to be. That's where you like to be. <laughs> I mean, what's the lowest you go? I got a lot of stuff here. Um. <laughs> So that would make, let's see, that's 30. I could do 60. That'll make it 10 and 10. Should you meet me halfway at 55? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, I did pretty good at this garage sale. Let's dive in. I paid a total of $55. For starters, I've got a $25 graphing calculator. Uh, a couple of $10 games here. $120 is what I'll get for the Scooby-Doo Monopoly sealed. This Scooby-Doo game had uh, no listing, nobody on the listing, but it had an amazing rank, so I'll have to do a little research there. This is a $25 book, $65, $75 item here, but the big winner for me was this speedboat here, RC Speedboat. Shout out to Bonafide Hustler, he likes this type of stuff. I should be able to get about $150 after fees. Steve did all right too. Video game people, I guarantee you've never seen an N-Gage before. It's some unique games made, a uh, console made by Nokia. What else do you get? Yeah, I popped on a, uh, a Dell digital jukebox, which I dropped like really bad and it, it like messed up the, the side of it. But I got that for five. That's going for about 50 with like a 3000 rank. Picked up this uh, complete household tool set by uh, Workforce, I believe. And that was five. It's going for about 25 or 30. Uh, those two games, and that was about it for me, man. But you definitely had the uh, the big scores in there. But that was fun, man. That was really fun. We are at Ohio Thrift Store, and I had some pretty good finds. Let's dive in. All right, I got eight of these for a buck ninety-nine. I should get fourteen after fees. They should be a fast mover. 
Got two sets of ink cartridges for $6 each. These games are worth, I believe, about $35, $40 bucks each before fees, or maybe it was after fees, I don't remember. That's $55 bucks after fees, I paid $16.99. Time for a refuel. So Steve's been harping about going to another Target, so we come here and what do I see over there? What is that? Can you read that? Oh, what is that? What? That's a Goodwill. Alright, we have been in Target for about 15 minutes now. We're doing pretty good. I got a bunch of this Soda Stream stuff. I spend $1.78. I get like six, seven bucks each after fees. This lemonade one is even better. I spend three, two ninety-eight. I get like eleven dollars after fees. Some frozen bed sheets, which somehow aren't restricted. I'll double my money. It's a miracle. Those. Yeah. Uh, another one of these Ninja Turtles things you saw yesterday's video. I picked up a couple of those. Steve got a whole bunch of these refrigerator filters that he's making about eight bucks, eighty percent ROI on. I do want to point one thing out though. Just because you guys see this in the store doesn't mean it's in date. If you take a look at that, it expired six months ago. We are wandering through Target and we've had some pretty good scores. Let's dive in. All right, we've got Mr. Sherman raking over here with the cart. A ton more of these pool toys, these filters we'll double up on. You can kind of see in there, we've got like 40 of those Batman thermoses double our money on. Some Weber grill stuff, there's some Nerf, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, filters. Raken had the score of the day here with this thing. He's getting like 50 bucks for that, or 40 bucks. And what? Quick time. <laughs> Just done. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 209. That goes to show you, don't just limit yourself to one area of clearance. I used to always just hit electronics clearance. I wouldn't go any, I wouldn't check out toys, I wouldn't check out anything else. I don't think I found anything in electronics clearance today. I would have walked out spending nothing, making no money, when instead I spent over $200 and should make probably about $250. We just got in the door, running a little bit late, heading up to our seats. Alright, what are your thoughts? I can't wait to see this field. It's supposed to be a huge stadium and I've only been to like a few games, so I'm pumped. Halftime just ended, teams are back out on the field, but let's see what'll happen. Tied at 10-10, believe it or not. Uh, number one versus non ranked tie. All right, we got two minutes to go, a minute and a half to go, actually. Seven point game, Northern Illinois is driving. Fourth down and 10 with Northern Illinois back on their own 20 yard line. This ought to be interesting. had a scrumptious meal at Arby's. I love that smokehouse brisket sandwich. If you've never had it, it's like something you'd get at an actual restaurant. It's really good. But anyways, we decided to change our plans. We are heading up to Cleveland now. Hopefully I can convince Raken to go to the Browns game because it is a stadium I have not been to yet. So I'm just gassing up here. Let's go to Cleveland. So Steve can't fit in his car. <laughs> you get yourself a pillow there? <laughs> There's nowhere else to put this thing. Look, I can put my arm through it. No. Put it on your lap. <laughs> it's like an airbag. <laughs> oh my god. Where? 
No way. Be smarter than the bubble wrap, Steve. <laughs> we have made it to the hotel. This is not a Rakin hotel. This is a resale rabbit hotel. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. problems all right let's check out the room all right here is the room this is a resale rabbit style room we got some nice beds flat screen TV desk let's check out the view a parking lot bathroom Nice countertop, run-of-the-mill shower. It's actually not as nice as most of my hotels. It does not have a refrigerator. Almost midnight. Yep, 11.55. So, want to give you guys a quick tour. Hey, man. Behind the scenes. Get out of my space. Bringing my stuff up from the car. This barely put a tiny dent in the amount of space that I have left. All right, with trip number two, that empties about half of the van. And that's all I'm going to do from the hotel. I'll do the rest when I get to Nashville. Steve Rakin in the house. I mean, yep. Scotty Rakin in the house. <laughs> this yeah. room probably has somewhere around twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars in merchandise, and this isn't even all of it. I mean, look at this. The beds are full. We may need to get a separate hotel room just so we have a place show to the sleep. The, show the, the, you got more? The crevice, man. The crevice. The profits in the crevice. Oh my. There is so much stuff. So here, here, look, look, look. Here's 80 bucks. Here's 50 or 60. Here's 20. Here's another probably 50. I mean, there's probably 300 bucks just in this stupid little thing. Oh, here. Let me show you one over here. <laughs> these boxes here. I've got a few boxes of these. It's 600 bucks. I hope you enjoyed day five. Get ready for day six tomorrow. We are going to be in Cleveland doing stuff I mean same stuff we usually do so hit the like button subscribe share find me on Facebook find me on YouTube find me on Twitter you probably won't because I'm not on Twitter but find me anyways